Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Second Cup of Coffee. This is Pastor Tom, and we are opening a new series on sin, S-I-N. Um, I don't know. It's something that we talk about very often um, <laughs> uh, because uh, it is a very broad subject nowadays uh, in the sense that it really seems like nothing is sin. Uh, anything that I feel I can do, um, and um, I, there is a inherent, um, uh, I would say, kind of thought process that you need to just accept what it is that I'm doing. No, it's not across the board. We still have laws and rules and, and things that generally in society we accept as sin or not good or, or whatever. Um, but there, there are other areas where, where we don't. Now, I'm not going to dig into those in, uh, specifically or individually, but I want to talk to you about um, the fact that you can get out of sin. You can put it away. You can stop walking in it. Um, you can find freedom from it. And it's actually a necessity if you are looking for direction in your life. See, I have people often come to me that are looking for direction. They're not sure what to do in a situation. And this isn't across the board. Sometimes there's just confusion. Sometimes you just don't know to go right or to left. And, that, and that's fine. And there's no hidden sin. But in Isaiah 35, 8, it says, A highway shall be there and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. And I read that and I began to understand that, look, when I am walking in a sin willfully, I know it's wrong. I know that God knows it's wrong. And I'm not willing to let it go. Then the path of righteousness, or as Isaiah coined it, the highway of holiness is going to become obscure to me and I'm not going to be able to find it. It's like a blindness that comes over me. Why is God judging me? No, I'm choosing to do something different than what he's designed. And I fractured the relationship with him because I'm choosing to not be clean. And I have to choose something other. It's interesting that they say that um, it will be, it shall be for the others. I have to choose something other than what I'm doing. So I want to direct you to Proverbs 4. It says, ponder the very last two verses, ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left to remove your foot from evil. The, the proverb writer wouldn't be telling you to remove your foot from evil if it wasn't possible. And so you need to step out of the sin that you're in if you're serious about being on the path that God wants you into. You can't have these pockets of God just understands. You know, no, we're not married, but God understands that we live together. No, we, we can't get married now because of financial things, but God understands that we sleep together. Uh, you know, it's just a little white lie of me cheating on my taxes. Those things are sin. They're wrong. They're, they're, they're not a way. You can't skate around that. Now, we can. We convert. We can uh, rationalize it in our mind, and we can say it's not really that kind of sin and, and whatever that is. But the reality is, is it keeps me from a path that God has for me, and then I find myself in confusion, and I find myself in wanting I want the path. I'm asking for the path, but I'm not getting a clear answer. Well, the first place to go is, God, is there unconfessed sin in my life that's keeping me from seeing this path? Because I believe out of Isaiah that it's a promise. It's a promise for me to have that. It's a promise. It, it, it's provision for me to walk on it. But I may be... Um, ejecting myself off that path because I'm choosing to keep my foot in sin. So what do you do this week? Sit before the Lord and ponder the path that you're on. What's ponder really mean? It means weigh, weigh it, weigh the path you're on. Is it really what God has called you to? Or is there an element, maybe a large or maybe small element of sin in it that needs to be gone out of my life? so that I can walk on the highway of holiness, not in a place of religion, but in a place of provision. And that's where I want to be. 
So if this meant something to you, share it. We appreciate however you find us. And God bless you, and we will talk to you soon.